myself is Dr. Pradeep Kumar Goswami. I'm a consultant gynecologist and obstetrician and a subspecialist in fetal and maternal medicine. I'm the founder and director of Fetomat Foundation and the lead consultant in this team. Thalassemia is one of a very important genetic uh, uh, condition uh, in our society, in our family. Uh, thalassemia is a single gene disorder uh, and the transmission is called as, scientifically is called as autosomal recessive. That means for this uh, syndrome to take place, uh, both the parents has to be a carrier. They are essentially normal, but for a particular position, one of their gene is uh, abnormal and one is normal. And if both of the parents pass that abnormal genes to their child, then the baby will suffer from that particular disease. And in this case, we are talking of thalassemia. The chance of, if both the parents of ca are carrier for thalassemia, the chance that 25% or one in four uh, chance the baby will have actually the disease. Now thalassemia, is manifested as a form of severe anemia and it is not compatible with life after certain age and from very early childhood the babies need blood transfusion and usually they cannot live a normal life. So it is very important that the parents uh, should have screened. So all parents, not one or two, every parents before their first child should have screened themselves uh, for uh, the carrier status of thalassemia. This is a simple blood test, you know. If one parent is normal, the other parent is carrier, then the baby at the worst will be a carrier and no prenatal test is necessary. If both the parents are normal, obviously the question do not arise for the baby to suffer from thalassemia. But if both the parents of are carrier for a particular type of thalassemia, there are several types of thalassemia uh, are there. Commonest one is called as beta thalassemia, then there are E thalassemia, D thalassemia and so on and so forth, you know. So if both the parents are carrier of a particular type of thalassemia, further testing in the parents are necessary to find out the actual nature of the genetic problem, which in scientific term calls as, called as a mutation test, which is again a blood test from the parents. And once the mutation or the abnormality in a particular gene position is identified, then basically the fetal DNA is collected through amniocentesis or CVS and that uh, particular mutation, abnormal mutation uh, is looked into the fetal DNA. So if the abnormal uh, DNA mutations are seen in the fetus, then uh, in both the chromosome position, then the baby is called as homozygous or sufferer from thalassemia. Uh, usually it is done as early as possible, three months of the pregnancy onwards. If the uh, parent's mutations are known, it can be done any time of the pregnancy, either through CVS or amnio. The roughly the result takes about a week and the results are very, very accurate. And if the baby uh, suffers from thalassemia, then usually uh, counseling is done and the parents to choose whether they want to continue or not. However, if the baby is a carrier or normal, the chance of carrier being 50% and 25% being absolutely normal, then the pregnancy continues as usual. <music>